Okay, guys, th this should be fun. I'm looking forward to this. Well, uh, we'll see how much I'm looking forward to it, depending on how Notre Dame does. I got my TV set up right here. Got you guys. <gasps> I'm on the YouTubes. I got you guys right there. I'll tell you, before we get into the Notre Dame game, for any of you who follow college football, this is potentially big right here. Oregon's kicking Ohio State's ass right now. They're up by seven and driving again. Hey, Jeff and Mark. We'll try this at least for a while. Let's see if it catches on, if anybody wants to come hang out in this stream or not. And MB and Jeremiah is here. I haven't switched over. Well, Notre Dame game hasn't started yet, but like I say, this Ohio State-Oregon game is is pretty fascinating. Uh, hi, uh, Croc Gaming, and Connor's here. Eh, oh, welcome, my bull. Wow. Just to keep you guys, I mean, I'll be switching over to Notre Dame in just a couple minutes, but right now that's what I'm watching is Ohio State, Oregon. Cheeseburger Freedom Ball. <laughs> yeah, Lex. A sports ball, Link says. Uh, Chauncey, you're a huge UCLA fan? Whoa. I mean, the first week win was expected, but what they did to freaking LSU, that was a beatdown. UCLA is a little scary this year. Freaking Chip Kelly might finally have shit together. Hey, you might, RJ, with screw Ohio State, you might be getting your wish because screwing them is exactly what uh, Oregon's doing right now. Oh, hey, Seal World. Uh, it's laggy? I don't know. Is it lagging for anybody else? I, uh, on my feed here, I'm not getting any lag. <laughs> Jack says, is this like some French foosball? Paint me like your French foosballs, girls. Uh, what time, what time, oh, I got time right there, 2.28. Oh, Alabama, Connor, they just reload every year. God damn. What the, be I'm still not convinced Miami is that good, but still the beatdown they put on Miami. Sure, Poppy. Uh, Poppy says, my friend's 21st, can I get a shout out for her? Absolutely, happy birthday. You should give me your name. Uh, happy birthday, Poppy's friend. <laughs> 21. You're illegal. Don't <laughs> make it to 22. Don't don't party too hard. You got an ad for the stream? Oh, this stream. Yeah, this stream, uh, because we're just w watching football, I did monetize this one. I know I usually don't monetize streams. Um, this one, I, I let monetization go, and if Susan wants to take it, she will. <sighs> not lagging for you? Okay. I just want to make sure. Yeah, I, I try and keep a feed up here so I can not only see, you know, from my desktop, but actually what's going out and on my end here, there hasn't been any lag. Well, that's good. 21. Oh, Poppy. I have underwear this more than 21 years old. Hell, I have infections that are, I think, at least 21 years old. Uh, Dragon says, why don't witches wear underwear? So they can get a better grip on their broom. <laughs> I'll tell you, though, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind watching the, um, Witches from ReZero go zipping around. Some hot witches. Notre Dame. Oh, Fluffy, you're, you've been with us for so long and so regularly, it's sad that i got to let you go. <laughs> oh, no. did you really, Big Green? Big Green says, I wish I could party. I accidentally bought non-alcoholic beer. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that really sucks if, like, you're having a get-together or something, BG. <laughs> Come on, we'll have a few drinks, get some wings. <laughs> Willie says, I'm not a big football guy, but I root for CSU, Colorado State University. CSU, they had they had a really decent season, I couldn't tell you how many years ago, a few years ago. I mean, obviously CSU isn't one of the high-profile schools, so they, don't, they can't recruit like the others can. And they're in direct um, competition with Colorado for recruiting. But they're a quality D1 school. Oh, <laughs> Luke says, oh yeah, Green died today. Everyone mourned for him. Yeah, <laughs> it tastes like shit, does it, VG? That sucks. <laughs> oh, that sucks when you do something like that. <laughs> I'm not a drinker. But um, what I've done is uh, I'll buy the... Um, yeah, think of what you're saying. The wrong... They have so many different diet sodas now, and diet soda is like my go-to. Oh, touchdown. Oregon is stomping on Ohio State. 
we're well into the third quarter now, and they just went up 27-14 pending the extra point. This is huge. This ch- If this holds, this changes the entire landscape of college football this year. Dragon says, what do you call your dad in the mirror? Your imagination. That's so sad, too. <laughs> yeah, Code says, just add a regular alcohol. <laughs> All right, well, let me switch over. I'm going to switch over to the Notre Dame game, guys. It, it's The coverage will have started by now. It'll be a while till the actual game starts. A few minutes, anyway, usually. Now, I know a lot of you aren't big college football fans, and we'll just hang out to hang out together. Um, this is a game that... Okay. I thought this was a... Why am I not seeing it? Well, now i got to find out which network has the game. Crap. I thought it was a home game, but apparently it is not. I didn't look close enough. Because it should be on NBC and it's not listed on NBC. All right, what the hell is going on? All right, this isn't funny, you guys. I never, ever, ever miss a Notre Dame game. What? Why does? Why is NBC? Oh, maybe it's um, NBC Sports Channel has got it. Hold on, if I don't find it, I'll have to look it up. No, NBC isn't. This isn't funny. Where the fuck's my Notre Dame game? This is me not laughing. Guys, what the fuck? Anybody got it on in front of them? Oh, it's on Peacock. Okay, thank you. I have the Peacock Network. Thank you. Jeez, I didn't even bother looking. I'm so used to it just being NBC if it's at home. Oh, hold on a second. Uh, Gimsha says, Notre Dame. I'm not a football guy, but I think some of the crew calls them the punching bags. Is this true? It's been true, uh, unfortunately, on and off over the years. <laughs> <laughs> Not so much now. They're they're doing they're doing pretty good right now. I mean, being uh, with the Irish heritage thing, Irish boxers are known as classically being able to take significant numbers of punches. <laughs> Thank you uh, guys for checking that out for me. I'm just so used to home games being on NBC. I forget about the freaking Peacock here. I mean, give me selections. Why would I be watching your stupid network unless it was watched to Notre Dame? Come on. All right. Oh, now I got to turn off the. Got to find the settings on here and turn off the. Um, turn off the subtitles. Okay, now I can watch the chat too. <clears throat> oh, I appreciate that, Lix. Lix says, I'm not a big fan of pigskin, but I can pretend to be. <laughs> I'm, I'm used to women faking things for me, Lix, so it's, it's cool. I love college football. Johnny says, I'm a UCLA fan today, but I'm an Irish fan. We share a hatred for USC. Yeah, ain't that the truth. I, and you're the second UCLA fan we've had in here so far, Johnny, and they're a little bit scary right now. Way better than I thought they were going to be. I mean, I going into that LSU game last week, I kind of liked them, UCLA, because I just don't think LSU is as good as, as in the past or as people thought. But I didn't think they'd put a beat down on them like they did. They dominated them. That game wasn't even as close as the score. You're a Texas fan, little baby. Who are they? Who are they? Oh, I forgot who they have today. They have somebody that'll be an interesting test for them today. I forgot who Texas has got. Oh, I love this part. Getting the crowd hype. Uh, what does a light bulb and a pregnant woman have in common? You can unscrew a light bulb. I've heard that one before, Dragon. That one I have heard. <laughs> oh, what I was starting to say too for those of you who aren't football fans, the rundown of this game. Toledo is obviously a smaller school. They've got a lot of kids coming back. They've got an experienced team. But it's a game where just because Notre Dame is so much bigger, faster, stronger, they should win and win comfortably. 
Just because they should doesn't mean any team does. But Toledo, Toledo is not patsies. But it's just one of those games where, you know, when you look at how Notre Dame recruits and how Toledo is able to recruit, you are physically dominant and you need to play that way. Oh, Arkansas, that's who it was. Thank you, Justin. They, that, that's a good game. I, I'll tune into that one later. That that might be a good... That's a good test for Texas right there. Find, we're going to find out just how good they are today. All right, here we go. First play. Cone's going to throw. Oh, yeah. Oh, and a flag's down. First down to Avery Davis. Watch, going to be a hold. Sure shit going to be a holding call. Dragon says, Iran, we can beat the U.S. Japan is typing. <laughs> yeah, Japan is typing. That's well done, Dragon. <laughs> and you ain't going to like what they type. Oh, no, it's against the defense. Wow, that's big. It was a face mask. It was a face mask against Toledo. So that penalty adds on to the gain they already made. That was a nice opening play. Nobody covered Avery Davis coming out. Plus 15 more. Wow. Where were, so they got to be across midfield already, right? Because I can do math. Go Toledo, go. I want you to suffer, <laughs> Trevor says. <laughs> oh, what a nice throw. Jesus. That kid right there, if you guys are watching the game, I think he's the best tight end in college football. Oh, penalties. His name's Michael Meyer. He's ridiculous. He's too fast for linebackers to cover and too big for secondary guys to cover. Well, right there, they got a safety on him. He's as fast as him and way bigger. You're not going to cover him. And Jack. Cone delivering that ball, even getting hit. This is this is solid looking team offense this year. I want to see more about the defense. Go, Kyron. Curtis versus Kool Aid Man, WrestleMania. I'm not working Kool Aid Man. He works stiff. <laughs> Milag says <laughs> Curtis looking at tight ends. Well, not only just looking at tight ends, as I said, Milag, best tight end in the country. I don't just look at any tight end. All right, second and seven. Here we go. Nice throw. Again. Mayor again. His numbers are were ridiculous last week. He's already got two big catches today. It's just, I don't know how, I, I would hate to be a defensive coordinator against him. I don't know how you cover him. Uh, I, I can. Like, I, I'd love to put the football game on for you, but that, that would get the stream copyright claimed in an instant. Yeah, I can't. I can't stream that. <laughs> Cool-Aid Man would probably be in tag team with Shockmaster. Big Green says. <laughs> oh, wow! Nice run. They will both love busting through walls. I <laughs> oh, remember that. <laughs> uh, uh, what Big Green's talking about is one of the great all-time wrestling botches when Shockmaster went to make his entrance and he burst through a wall. It was supposed to be this big dramatic entrance. And he just ended up tripping over the pieces of the wall and his Shockmaster helmet came off and it looked really stupid. All right, we got second and goal here. Let's go. Uh, flag down. That's Mayor touchdown if it's not against the Irish. Come on, don't be against the Irish. I Because I want Mayor to be in the running for... It was a touchdown, Irish Michael Mayer. This kid, this kid could be the first freaking tight end that I've ever heard of that's in the conversation for the Heisman. He's just ridiculous. Uh, Joel, Funko Pops? I got tons of them. Um, well, I shouldn't say that. Actually, my collection isn't that big compared to a lot. It's um, a lot of just the animes that I've seen that they've been able to come out with. I don't, you know, my memory. I don't remember the, the roster right offhand. What the hell is going on? Another flag. 
Yeah, Toledo needs to get their shit right here. <laughs> Mistress says, do you think I would do well in this? Female, 138 pounds. <laughs> yes, Mistress. Well, well, sorry. Sounds like perfect perfect dimensions for uh, the offensive line. <laughs> oh, Mayor's ridiculous, Johnny. I mean, and, and again, I'm a football fan before any, anything else. I don't. I try not to homerism with my assessments. And that said, I I don't remember seeing a tight end at this level in college better than him or even as good as him. Kid's only a sophomore. He's ridiculous. And just as you saw on that drive, he's uncoverable. Uh, Dragon says, Shockmaster stood atop the mountain for years, then Titus would slide. Yeah, that's right. Uh, what Dragon's talking about there now is, I told you about the Shockmaster thing, how he fell down, and that was the meme forever, and then, and then, um, when Titus was with the WWE, he, he was running down. Some people say that was a work, he did it on purpose, I don't think so. He was running down the ring, and he slid, and went right under the, instead of into the ring, he went right under the ring. <laughs> Titus O'Neil. <laughs> Ooh, Jack says, when do we switch to women's volleyball? I hear it's hot in Brazil. Oh, women's volleyball. Come on, you're distracting me. Code says, I'm just curious. Since you're an Irish fan, are you born from in Indiana? No. Uh, as a matter of fact, my friend, it's a really, it's kind of a neat story, I guess. <laughs> I became an Irish fan because, I've told you guys this before, some of you will, will know the story. I was probably, I don't know, five, six. And... I still remember it, plain as day. I was walking through my living room. We lived way out in the boonies in an old farmhouse. I was walking through the living room on a Saturday afternoon, and a game was just starting. And it was just nobody was in front of the TV because nobody in my family was football fans. And I happened to look down at the TV, and here were these badass-looking dudes running out onto the field with these gold helmets gleaming in the sun and the crowd going wild and the here come the irish and the band was playing i was like this is one of the fucking coolest things i ever saw and i've been a notre dame fan ever since i i kind of tend to agree fluffy says titus slide was too good to be on purpose yeah <laughs> some people try and say it was a work but i don't think it was i i, I think it was a botch yeah <laughs> trevor says remember brock in the nfl yeah i mean either yeah Goldberg didn't stay long either. That was a good read, though. Many years ago, back when I used to have time for reading, I read Bill Goldberg's book. If you're into wrestling at all, that's a good that's a good read. He's he had had an interesting trajectory, and he he what I liked about it is he's very self aware in his book. He didn't pump him up, pump himself up to be more than he is or anything. Anybody watching the other score? Hey, if you guys would, uh, if anybody's watching other games and stuff, keep me posted on that um, Oregon-Ohio State game if you guys wouldn't mind. Because Oregon was up 14. All right, now I want to see how the defense plays. Starting from the 18, keep them right down there. Now, again, this is where Notre Dame should be able to physically dominate. Oh, Nice throw, but who the hell was the corner? Why are you playing so far off? Was Gronk a beast in college? I can't remember. If I'm remembering right, I'm trying to remember Gronkowski in college. I think he, if I'm remembering him right, everybody knew he was going to the NFL, but he wasn't one of those guys that was a surefire can't miss Ended up being like what he was. I remember Brady in college really well because that's back when Notre Dame was playing Michigan regularly. And Brady, I thought, was above average at Michigan. He was good. He wasn't great. Never would have imagined him being what he turned out to be. Still 28-14? And the Bucks just turned it over on downs, Pupper? That's huge. And I just told... I, I was recording videos this morning and stuff. And I went downstairs, and our friend Carly is um, staff with my stepdaughter today. And she said, did you bet on the Notre Dame game? I said, no, I never bet on 
on or against Notre Dame. I don't bet their games. I said if I would bet, I wanted to bet Oregon. They're giving them too many points. They were giving them 15. I didn't go. It's half an hour ride. I didn't feel like riding all the way down the casino to go play. And now it's going to be 7-7. Seven, seven. Somebody. F what the hell was that? Now who? That's a blown coverage. That's not getting beat. That's somebody didn't do their fucking job. I want to see that play again. Oh, man. Eh, he he did get beat. Yeah, you're not getting away from number 14. That number 14 there for the Irish, Kyle Hamilton. He's could possibly be the best in the nation at his position at safety. As soon as you see 14 coming to the screen, it's like, okay, play's over. You're not getting away from him. Pupper says, I never bet against my Ducks. Yeah, I, I don't. There's so much stress for me involved in watching Notre Dame games now, I'm not going to add to it by having money bet on it. <laughs> but today's best bet for me was Oregon getting 15 against Ohio State. Not because I thought they'd do this to him, just because I thought 15 was too many. I thought it'd be a close game. Oh, it hit the ground. Shit, I think it hit the ground. That hit the ground, guys? Can anybody, I know we're on a delay. Try and make, I think it, I hope it didn't. That'll be his third interception. But I think it hit the ground. Let's see. I I think it gets right through his hands into the ground before he, maybe not. Does his arm under it? It is his arms. It is his arms. That's a pick. That's a pick. I thought it hit the ground. That's his third interception in a game in less than a quarter. That, that's the one I was just telling you guys is the best at his position, potentially, in the nation. Fuck yeah. That's a that's an interception. Collector <laughs> says I'm gay, so obviously I don't watch sports. I have a couple of gay friends who, who watch sports. <laughs> I have one gay friend who gives me shit about Notre Dame all the time. <clears throat> it's completely clean. The announcers, I think, sometimes try to build a little suspense where there is none. That's that was entirely clean. Yes, they did a thing. The green says. <laughs> <laughs> Chrome, <laughs> Chrome has a good counter to that. She says, sports is super gay, though. <laughs> ah, you guys crack me up. <laughs> He's just ridiculous, this kid. What concentration. Yeah, that never touches the ground. Yeah, that's an interception. Jeez. Every quarterback is gangsta till Curtis steps on the field, Joel says. <laughs> Jack Queen says, I like to pretend he's comment commentating on some gay porn he's watching. The other thing, too, Jack, there's a lot of things I, I, I'm going to say and I've already said during the course of a football game that could easily be a fit for gay porn. Just like saying a fit for gay porn. I don't know. Why is it taking so long with this review? It's clearly a catch. Especially since it was called a catch on the field. There's certainly no evidence to overturn it. That didn't touch the ground. That didn't even get lost. So much grunting. Chrome says, "Yeah, yeah." Chas, I, I'm. We we're just talking about that Ohio State game. I'm shocked. When I turned away, they were down 14, and somebody said, um, "They just Ohio State just turned the ball over on downs again." They got to be getting close to, if not into the fourth quarter, there by now too. What the hell? Are, this this I I'm a fan of the. Um, Booth reviews of them being able to review plays, except for things like this. Why does something obvious take this long? 
they're holding up the game forever. And right from the, the second replay they showed, you could tell you can't overturn it. You have to have indisputable evidence to overturn it. And there certainly isn't that because... Oh my gosh, guys. What? Wow. That's like, wow. That's one of the most egregious calls I've ever seen on replay. So now, those of you who are watching, those officials just said, indisputably, because that's important, there is indisputable proof that that ball hit the ground. Holy fuck. Sometimes you wonder if these guys don't bet on games. I mean, seriously. What the fuck did they see there? That was... Oof. That was... That was bad. Holy shit, that was bad. Yikes. Oh, is she with a big throw at the end of the third, pupper? The ref did nothing to stop it, yeah. Wow, I'll have, to, I'll have to check that out. That was... That was one of the worst overturn calls I've seen so far with, with replay. Because there was definitely no evidence, clear evidence that that ball hit the ground. Oof. Yeah, you're not wrong, Jack Queen. says, so they got a replay in slow-mo and still made a bad call. That's why we're doomed. Oh, still 28-14, Pupper? Yeah, because for those of you who don't follow, basically the replay is there. You can, um, the replay is there to overturn a play only when there is, and this is important, clear, indisputable evidence that the call on the field was wrong. Well, the call on the field was that he made the interception. The only thing that would change it is if the ball had hit the ground. Well, as anybody who was watching saw, you had no angle to show that. It looked like the ball just rolls up his body into his arms. But there's certainly no, at no point, is there a shot that shows the ball hitting the ground. And somehow the official said, oh, well, no, we're just going to overturn it anyway. It's, uh, NCAA especially has started getting a, a lot of heat about officiating miscues this will be another one if things go as expected notre dame wins easy these guys will get away with it with being um wrong <laughs> because it didn't matter in the game but it's unfortunate it goes on as much as it does make reps illegal jack says <laughs> i can't believe it trevor i and again now i will say this if they'd have called it an incomplete pass on the field I would have had to say, okay, there wasn't enough. It wasn't conclusive that he did catch it. But there was no way you could turn it, re, you know, uh, reverse it based on what we saw there. That's what's really wrong with what they did. That one, you couldn't tell either way. So that call, whichever way they call it on the field, is the way they should have left it. Uh, thanks, Puffer. That... I think right now that's the only one going on that I've got a real deep interest in is um, Ohio State and uh, Oregon. The other ones are later. I think I'll, I'll look at the schedule. But that's just, that's if that holds, if Oregon wins that game, again, that shakes up the entire landscape of college football dramatically. Very dramatically. Yes, uh, I have YouTube TV code. Yes. Yep. All right. Now let's get the offense back out there and just keep, just keep beating Michael Mayer. <laughs> this kid that plays quarterback for the Irish, he's a graduate student. He was at Wisconsin, and he has one year of eligibility left, and he came to Notre Dame as a graduate student. So he's... He's good. He's the quarterback this year. I think he's setting the way for next year. It'll be a kid named Tyler Buckner, who's a true freshman this year. This kid, uh, 
What will be fun is this kid who just carried the ball. If they can get him out into space, the year he was a senior in high school, he was the third fastest sprinter in the nation. When you, <laughs> you get that kid out in space, he's fun to watch. Talk about ridiculous fast. Johnny says Kyle Hamilton is a legit star. Could be as good or better than Sean Taylor. Rest in peace. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a good comparison, actually, Johnny. A real good comparison. He is. He's a freak. Between, I mean, that's one of the big things the Irish have going is when you got two positions, important positions on the field where you quite possibly have the best player in the nation at that position at both safety and tight end, it's a lot to, it's a lot to start with. Stroud, deep pass, incomplete, pupper. Okay. He's, that's one of the reasons, though, I liked Oregon today to cover. I'm not... I'm not sold on Stroud. That's oh, first down. I just wish they, just for you guys to see, I wish they'd get Chris Tyree out in the open where he can turn the Jets loose. Musk is setting up space football now. <laughs> I wish I did know the Krabby Patty secret formula, Joel. So one of my, one of the true disappointments in my life is that I don't. I'm thinking I could steal it though, right? How hard can it be to sneak in there and steal it? Maybe I'll open a restaurant across the street so I have easy access. Would be funny if LeBron James played football golden TNT. He's a, I, I'm not a LeBron James fan. Just because I, I don't like the guys who chase championships. But he is a hell of an athlete. He probably could have played football at some level. Guy's a ridiculous athlete. Oh. All right, come on, guys. What the hell's going on here? Now, this is... And again, Toledo's a, a decent team. But there's no reason for this Notre Dame offense to struggle against them. I'd have to get it plain, Big Green. He says, I mean, you wouldn't eat a Krabby Patty anyway. There's condiments and veggies on it. Yeah, I'd have, to, I'd have to get a Krabby Patty plain. Plain, no cheese. Maybe SpongeBob can get my order right, because I know McDonald's can't. You'd think plain would be the easiest thing, right? Oh, nice. Another fast kid right there, too. He's got sprinter speed. Boy, Kona's looks really sharp these first two games. Uh, Pupper says, I thought Oregon beat OSU for a national title. I don't think so, Pupper. Um, I don't think Oregon has a national title yet, do they? I, I'm going off my memory here, and you guys you know how that is for me. They've had some great teams, especially over the last 10 years, but I don't think in their history, I don't think Oregon has a national championship. I, I could be wrong. All right, come on. Now what? Someone call timeout? There's no flag. Oh, there's a flag. Oh, no, timeout. Okay. No, no titles for the Ducks? FB, that's what I thought. I didn't think they had one. Huh. Well, let me tell you, if they end up squashing, um, if they end up squashing Ohio State today, they're going to move way up the rankings. I completely forgot. I got my, my phone's not being used. I can put my YouTube TV on there and um, take a look and see what is going on with... Uh, Oh, so it's, oh, the Buckeyes just scored. So with the extra point, they can cut it to seven. Shit. And it is the fourth quarter. All right, Oregon just needs to hold it together. You're into the fourth quarter. You're up by seven. Put the ball in the end zone. Put it in the end zone. Put the ball in the end zone. Check a wow wow. Put the ball in the end zone once more. And you might have sealed it. 
Kaiser says, how do us Irish play football? Our arms don't work when a ball is involved. <laughs> yes, thank you, Pupper, for the update. Uh, they cut it. Is this going to be another case of Ohio State dodging a bullet? They do it a lot. I would like to. Uh, Oregon's just got to get put together a good, solid drive, just like they were in the first half. <clears throat> <laughs> Willie says, I would take pearl hostage and blackmail crabs for the formula. The only thing there is, you got, man, you got to have a really, really big basement to tie her up in. Oh, boy. What the fuck is going on today, Irish? They came out of commercial too late. So did he get sacked and he fumbled? <sighs> Let's go, boys. Come on. Oh, you never saw it, Jack. Ah, uh, shit. Between uh, officials making mind-boggling calls and then nobody seeing the blindside rusher, this has been an interesting first quarter. Um, yeah, guys, we might want to want to. Want to put somebody over the middle, over the center. <laughs> you think that, Lick says, you think they'd be too short to reach the hoop with them being leprechauns and all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I tell you what, that Toledo's, Toledo's looking sharp and more concerning, Notre Dame's defense is not looking good. I mean, it doesn't help any when your offense turns the ball right back over to them, but still, there's no reason for their defense to be getting pushed around like this. There you go. <clears throat> Willie says we would also need a pot big enough to boil her if crabs doesn't comply. That's a big-ass pot, yeah, for Pearl. Boiled whale, hmm. All right, come on, guys. Let's get a stop here. This is ridiculous. Better make a stop on third down here. <laughs> Jack Queen says, put weapons in sport. Is it entertainment or not? <laughs> yeah, like maces and shit, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> whatever your whatever your mascot carries, you can use it in the game like Florida State's uh, Seminole. There, you, you could carry a spear. Dragon says, "What does a sick person in California have in common? They tend to burn up." Uh -huh. <laughs> California jokes always welcome. <laughs> All right, come on, let's have a stop here. There you go. Nice. Now that's how you plug a hole. You're right. Jack, you're right. I say a lot of things that sound like I'm watching gay porn. Huh. They do plug a hole. <clears throat> yeah, gladiator fight the green. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice play. Irish need to just, like say, get shit. Well, they've moved the ball fine on offense, but you can't have turnovers. You can't let a team that you're physically dominant over hang around. And he's got it. All right, let's see what's going on with Ohio State and Oregon. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. Oh, oh, nice throw. That's a horse collar tackle. Are they going to flag him for it? 
We just move, I'm watching I'm watching Oregon Ohio State on my phone and Notre Dame on the TV. No, nope, they aren't. That looks like a horse collar. Let me see. That's a nice gainer, regardless. Oh no, I guess it's uh, yeah. Uh, technically, it was. He got his fingers in under the shirt. That's all that matters. Susan censored a joke? Yeah, that's a shocker, Lex. That's a huge surprise. Yeah, and Ohio State still isn't looking like they can stop Oregon. I have my tinfoil hat on, Johnny says. He must have done something in the Irish defense. Something smells fishy here. Well, they, at least they stiffened up. Stiffened up again, Gabe Horn. They stiffened up um, down near the goal line. But yeah, they, they got a they got to tighten up the pass defense. Guys are just running free. I thought that was a horse collar, FB. I thought that was the very definition of one. He had his hand inside the shirt and pulled him down. Anbu says no fucking notification. Yeah, it's not surprising, pal. Unfortunate, but not surprising. <clears throat> All right, Irish. Let's get your shit right here. Stiffen up, indeed, Big Green. Like Jack says, you know, if somebody just happens to randomly come across the stream, you have to determine, are we watching football or are we watching gay porn? By the commentary, who knows? All right, so Oregon's got a second and six here, deep in, deep in Ohio State's territory. Oh, wide open. And he dropped it. Oh, man. Kid tried to run with the ball before he secured the catch. That was that was a first down. It would have been first and goal by the time he got done running with it. Yikes. Oh, that hurts. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey. Glick says, I didn't know American football is this kinky. It might be worth watching. A lot of talking about plugging holes and stuff, Licks. Yeah. All right, come on. Let's see if Oregon can pick up this third down. Looks like it. Yep, first down, Oregon. Ohio State can't stop them. Oh, yeah, I agree, Trevor. The horse collar tackles are so dangerous. Oh, it's great chase down, but a piss poor play call. I don't like the play calling on offense from the Irish today. Do you know why, um, uh, Trevor? Because I'm old, that's the reason I remember this. Do you remember there is a specific player is the reason why there is a horse collar tackle rule. Do you remember who it was? There it is. Touchdown, Oregon. They are just routing them. Third and nine. This is, this is horrific. This is just terrible. What the fuck is going on here? I don't know. I'm starting to have some doubts about my Irish here. You know, you guys want to be considered for uh, a spot in the playoffs? Remember, this is Toledo. Who calls toughest game? To sh who y'all's toughest game? For me, Neji, the freaking Trojans, USC. I, I don't think people are giving USC all the credit they deserve. And I despise them. But they're good. They're loaded. I think that's the toughest game they got. I'm very concerned about that game. Roy Williams, you're right, Johnny. Roy Williams is the reason they have the horse collar rule. He played for the Cowboys, played safety for years. He had really strong hands. He was a freak. Couldn't cover anybody on a pass route, but he was a monster hitter. And he, he had strong hands. He used to rip guys down by the back of the jerseys and the shoulder pads all the time. And that's why they made the rule because of him. <laughs> Anu says, was it horse collar Jones for 500? <laughs> I see that chasp, another Ducks touchdown. That That's amazing. I just can't believe we're struggling like this today, the Irish. The way it started, especially right down the field, no problems. 
But that last drive, I and the Irish were just simply lucky there because that kid was open. That's just the quarterback missing him. We need to, the coverage needs to be much better. <clears throat> Timothy says, imagine how many kids learn swears because of family watching football. Yep. <laughs> Got to learn them somewhere. Might as well learn them on Saturdays while I watch Notre Dame. <laughs> Giving them too much time, boys. Oh, that was that was a nice throw. He was well covered. Thanks, FB. I appreciate that. Oh, who's the flag on? Wow. And up. Oof, that'll back him up. Thank you, FB. Gibster says, I don't know anything about football, but I agree with the refs and think the Irish are doing perfectly fine. Interesting gay session for you, Yanks. <laughs> oh, I, they're, they're really frustrating me today, the Irish. Jack says, I thought it was perfectly fine to say, fuck you, your mother and your sister when I was five because of my dad. Jesus Christ. That's rough. Notre Dame's run is extinct, isn't it, Anvil? You mean their running game? So far this season it has been. But again, Tommy Reese, the offensive coordinator, isn't helping them with the time, oh, with the way he's calling the running plays either. And that's partially on Jack Cohn, too. You got to think he, that second down play, you got to think he had a play he could have checked out of because... Toledo had like nine guys in the box. Nine guys in the box. There you go. Why would you run it? <clears throat> Al Alvin Chipmunk says, Speaking of Irish, I have an Irish human friend. His older, taller Chinese girlfriend is 5'8". Maybe if I stand on her head, I'll meet the height requirement. <laughs> Third and 27. You would think this should be safe. All right. Now, the Irish need to get the ball back, drive the ball down the field, and start putting it onto these guys. Again, Jack. Oh, Lex. Lex says mostly how to dodge punches, punches but also swears. That actually, that actually makes me feel bad. <laughs> Lex is auto... <gasps> Jack. Lex, did you see that? He says, Licks his autobiography, Nine Guys in the Box. You guys are fucking brutal. <laughs> you really are. <laughs> what a punt. Jesus Christ. The hell is that kid? We'll go back to... Do you guys hear that? They just said that kid's from Melbourne, Australia. So so now they got players from made up places. No no way an imaginary kid just kicked a ball sixty eight yards. Who <laughs> says but Jack? I mean he ain't wrong. <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. <laughs> When he says in here, I thought I was impressive because I can take five guys in the box. Ooh, five guys. That just made me hungry. Andrew says, you know what's funnier than nine guys in a box? Ten guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Andrew. <laughs> oh, this is such a good time. I'll be having a better time if the Irish get their heads out of their asses. <sighs> <laughs> oh, Lex. All right, let's see. And Ohio State's got the ball back. Ten minutes to go still, but they're down two touchdowns. Just don't give up anything big. And see, that's this that play right there is why I liked Oregon today. I just don't think this kid is, is nearly the quarterback that Ohio State is used to having. I mean, no disrespect to him. He just... Because that receiver was open. When you've got two, three steps on on the, the man guarding you and there's no one else between you and the end zone, you got to drop that ball in there. 
<clears throat> All right, come on, Jack. Let's get this shit right now. What's going on? At yeah, they're getting way too much pressure on him. Oh, big play for Ohio State. Come on, boys. Let's get this offense rolling. And he got hit again. This is embarrassing. Notre Dame offensive line recruiting is among the best, if not the very best in the nation. And these guys are getting these guys are getting their asses handed to them. Jesus. Uh Dragon says, what do you do when an epileptic has a fit in a bathtub? <laughs> Throw in your laundry. Oh. 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 Does that make him an agitator? This is horrific. This is as... If I could have drawn up a scenario where things go completely wrong for the Irish today, this is it. FB says, first super chat was a fluke, but I wanted to say that I should have bought... Bought that green Super Mariota hoodie when he and the Ducks beat the Longhorns years ago. Remember that when Marcus was still there? Yeah. And the, you guys had that, um, I can't remember his name, that little running back, a little short guy, but he was so freaking fast. That, that, that was a really, couple of really good Oregon teams. Jeez, I can't think of his name. But yeah, Mariota was there and you had that kid at running back. Oof. No, oh, again, the Irish need... Th this is just insane what's going on here right now. Chauncey says, could be that Toledo just said a, a lot of time analyzing Notre Dame's plays. Good scouting goes a long way. You've got nothing better to do. And, and, and you know, you got to give these kids credit. They are playing well. But my take always is, just as I said, Notre Dame is, as far as measurables, bigger, faster, and stronger. You should not be getting physically dominated like they are right now. But yes, the not the last the series before last, the play calling was terrible. And there's a sack. About time. No, oh, what's going on? Did Ohio State no no they didn't score? I'm third and six for Ohio State. We're down to eight minutes to go in the game. Finally, they got some coverage downfield. This is just that Ohio State game amazes me. Come on, boys. That's nothing. Fourth and six. This is huge. Ohio State's got to go for it. Guys, for any of you guys watching that, don't you think? Yeah, they have to. It's eight minutes to go, and they're down 14. A field goal don't help you. And there's a sack. About time. Who says the gay levels are peaking? We found the sack. <laughs> we finally got the, finally got the sack, Lude. <laughs> All right, let's... Oh, now what? Oh, end of the first quarter. The Iris, th this has been... Oh, timeout at both games. That was a horrific first quarter for the Irish. Just terrible. Yeah, John, like John, I, I don't even know why I asked Johnny. That was a dumb question. Do you go for it there? Like you say, you have to. The field goal cuts it to eleven with eight minutes left, and and they had Ohio State hasn't shown any ability to stop Oregon. So, like you say, you got to go for it. Simping Stan says, "Oh, American football." How many home runs have they got so far? Or do you guys keep track of score by number of concussions on the field? Oh, boy. If, not in football, but in wrestling, if concussion numbers would have been the mark of excellence, the, re the hierarchy of wrestling probably would have been Mick Foley, Curtis Candy. <laughs> Purple Unicorn says, is it true Patrick means toaster in Celtic? 
I don't know. We got some folks from Celtic regions here. I don't. If if nobody answers, we'll say it does. What the hell? Pupper says OSU is nothing without Urban Meyer. Yeah, I, I just yeah, Pupper. I again, this kid they have a quarterback now. I think he he's good. He's very good. He's just not to the level that they're used to, and they really need that this year. They're not. As, they're certainly not as dominant on defense as they have been other years. Well, you can see that in today's game. Mick Foley, New Jack, Curtis Candy. Yeah, Trevor, that's true. New Jack, New Jack got a bunch of them himself. True. And Niall says, I don't understand any of these American sports references, but I agree with your opinions. <laughs> Thanks, Niall. I like that. <laughs> Just put some blind confidence in me. <laughs> oh, I know the Irish need to make a stop here because this is just getting out of hand. It just irritates me like that when you're that much physically superior to another team to be struggling like this. You know, if it was the USC game, something like that, it's understandable. And there you go. Wide open for a first down. That's terrible. Third and long and giving up the first down. That's just awful. Uh, a guy says OSU is overrated, but as an LSU fan, I can't say anything. Well, the only thing I can say in fairness to LSU, a guy, was there were a lot of uncertainties about LSU. They did get exposed against UCLA. Exposed. But there were uncertainties there, whereas OSU is supposed to be, you know, one of the uh, top favorites for national champion this year. This is pissing me off. OSU scored. Oh, yeah, right here. I got it right in front of me. Yep. OSU just scored. They still might pull this game out. Yeah, and there's almost eight minutes to go still. Oregon's, Oregon needs to score on this next drive, even if it's a field goal. They just need points on this next drive. Just ridiculous, to this game. <laughs> Makes for a bad Thursday when you get exposed, Jack says. <laughs> Tampa did not cover the point spread Thursday. No, they didn't, Jeff. I, I thought nine was a little bit much anyway. We all know Dallas's offense is crazy. It's, it's tough to give nine points to an offense like that. Got him. There you go. Uh, Dragon says, by that mark, anyone who used the diving headbutt a lot would have to be at the top. <laughs> well, it depends how, how good they were at delivering it, Dragon. Because if you deliver it smooth, nobody gets hurt. But between the crazy number of bumps I took and the head snaps and the ridiculous number of shots to the head... I mean, I did. I had so many. I could gauge my concussions by how much nausea I felt. Uh, uh, Peter, version one. What is Notre Dame's mascot? Uh, a leprechaun. Real original, huh? But they had. It's not like a big furry. It's an actual human plays the the uh, mascot. It's always cool, too, because the, they have tryouts for it and everything. And, you know, the guys who play the leprechaun can do the little Irish jigs and everything. It's always fun. Um, one of their mascots years ago uh, actually used to um, watch some of the content here at the channel. And this is years ago when we became Facebook friends. Anbu says, breaking news, Curtis Candy leaves stream and ends up on the Notre Dame field. He is showing the players how to put hands on men. <laughs> it's, it's coming close to that, Anbu. That punter, that punter is good. Toledo's punter, <laughs> that's, he's, he's been phenomenal. But again... 
Notre Dame needs to get over their shit and start putting some drives together. Now, I hope Oregon isn't going to go into a shell here and try and sit on this lead. They can't because they've been flinging the ball on Ohio State all day. And now just because you want to run off the clock, you can't turn to just running game. Guys need to score on this drive to put them away. <laughs> yeah, Johnny says, yeah, they need to give you some pads. You don't need a helmet, though. Yeah, I got I got a lot of my both my shoulders are all shitty. They're injured, crappy, all torn up. So I do want shoulder pads, which are right. Fuck this part. <laughs> Nothing more gonna be done to it. And an incompletion. Ohio State could stop them here. This this Ohio State game ain't over yet, you guys. This is a huge play coming up right here. Oregon needs to get this first down. Really big play coming. <laughs> Willie said, I've been watching Chris Hansen today, taking notes so I don't get caught. Ouch. <laughs> Come on, pick up this first down. Now, a f what the hell, in a flag? So it's going to be third and 12? Yeah, smart. Ohio State's going to come back in this game. You guys watch. That's terrible. <clears throat> Jack says, smart, Willie. <laughs> good, good plan. <laughs> All right, now the Irish, come on. Get your head out of your ass. This is the freshman quarterback I was telling you guys about. I can't believe we're going to see him play, and he can fly. I was just going to say he can fly. Fuck yeah! I've been dying to see this kid on the field. What the fuck? You guys have no idea how happy that just made me. This kid can fly. He is such a phenomenal athlete. Just got them out of that hole. Is He, he actually... Is Cone really done? Is he going to be the quarterback? Wow. Oh, this is putting a hurt on Toledo having this kid in here. Oh, I, I'm jacked up, you guys. This is cool. No one says, Curtis, I go to a gym in Miami where everyone is on juice. For the first time today, I watched someone actually shoot up in the locker room. I used to see that a lot, Nolan. Unfortunately, in the wrestling business, by the time I retired, it seemed like probably even in the Indies, 70% of the guys were on juice. <laughs> Peter says, haven't seen a bigger smile since Vegeta, badass. <laughs> I've just been so excited to see this kid play. Ah, oh, shit. I just can't believe we're going to see Tyler Duckner, Buckner play. Too delayed, yeah. FB, uh, Oregon can't blow this game. This is just fun seeing him out here. I've been dying to see him. He is one, uh, he was one of the most highly recruited quarterbacks in the country coming out of high school. And he, like I say, he's a true freshman. It's very, very rare at Notre Dame for a true freshman quarterback to play. Most yards in the nation in 2019. He didn't get to play in 2020 because California didn't have high school football. Come on, Tyler. Oh, nice throw, too. Wow, what a spark this kid has given them. 
I tell you, if he keeps playing like this, that might be the end for Jack Cohn. This might be Tyler Buckner's team. They said this kid was learning so fast. Third and 12 in the Ohio State game for Oregon. Uh-oh, and he broke free. Touchdown. There we go. Bringing Buckner in certainly straightened things out a little bit, didn't it, guys? Holy shit. Lispy who holds <laughs> monkey. Luffy, you calm down. <laughs> no, I, I know, Luffy. I'm just teasing you. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> wow, that was a nice run. But you know what, guys? I know a lot of our football fans, what set that run up was the defense's fear that the quarterback, Tyler Buckner, was going to run with the ball because you see them flowing to stop him. That's what set that up. Wow. Oh, he broke free. Somebody catch him. Lick says, all right, well, Ohio State's got the ball back, guys. Are they going to end up winning that goddamn game? And Oregon held the ball for less than a minute before they turned it back over to them. <clears throat> God damn it. Oh, yeah, Johnny, he says, Buckner is a dual threat. I really like him. Oh, I've been so anxious to see him play. This came out of the blue because, you know, I follow all the Notre Dame message boards and the rumor mills and all that. Nowhere did I hear anybody talking about any possibility that Buckner played. Buckner was number three on the death chart. But Kelly kept saying through spring and then fall practice that he couldn't believe how quickly the kid picked things up. And you see what kind of athlete he is. That changes the your for a, the a defense. That changes the entirety of your game plan when you have to worry about the quarterback having that kind of athletic ability. Guys, fucking Ohio State's going to tie this game up. Uh, Luffy says it's nice when college football fans can give each other a hard time. Agreed, and it'd just be fun. I'm a West Virginia fan, so I don't have anything to brag about. Uh, it's West Virginia just just because their location and everything. It's recruiting is so tough for them because they're surrounded by so many big name, high profile programs. They're always a West Virginia is always a oh look at this if he that Ohio State game again. That's why they're not the big threat that they were last year. Another touchdown pass that that kid just missed. He just didn't make the throw. On Boo says Oregon is going to drop the soap watch. I'm afraid you're right, On Boo. I'm just starting to get that feeling the way the game is flowing. Wide open. He was, FB. Completely wide open. Just missed him. That's why Ohio State, again, they're not the same threat this year. Now, who knows? Maybe he'll improve. But, I mean, you've got to make that throw. Oh, and that was almost a pick. He completely missed his receiver there. Even if they pull this game out, Ohio State's going to have some problems here, I think, this year. He's coming out with that? Oh, it's a good good decision. <clears throat> yeah, the uh, Irish special teams went to sleep a little bit there, thinking he was just going to uh, down the ball. No one says I have to root for Ohio State because Buckeyes are peanut butter balls dipped in chocolate, so yeah, they automatically should win. <laughs> Good point. Dragon says, what's the difference between a white kid and a computer? The kid has no trouble shooting. <laughs> See, that's what I was just talking about what the announcers are saying in the Notre Dame game. It's the fear of Buckner running with the ball that set up that play. <clears throat> All right, you guys need to get them with a three and out, get the ball back, and lay another score on them. Start putting them away. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I saw the flag, FB. <laughs> Good thing. What about third and 20? Make that tackle. There you go. 
They're, oh, they aren't going to call him for targeting, are they? FB? Nope, no flag. I wasn't sure if you led with his helmet. I was going to say if they do, that drive stays alive. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, shit. All right, come on, Irish. you got to make a stop right here. I am so excited that I'm getting to watch this Tyler Buckner kid play, guys. <laughs> Notre Dame football is such a big deal to me. And we have, you know, as a fan base, we have such high hopes for him. There you go. That's the third sack after a bunch of sacks last week. Beautiful. All right, now Notre Dame's starting to get their shit together, playing the way they should be. No, it wasn't targeting. I'm, I've am i got it on my phone and on the desk here, FBI. I, I don't have a good angle sometimes, but no, that wasn't targeting. All right, now here, we'll get the better look. Ooh, I might have spoke too soon. Crown of the helmet, though, FB. That's crown of the helmet. If they, that's a game changer if that's targeting. Yeah, I see that Ducks player hurt. I don't know, pal. I didn't think it was, but then seeing that last replay, that uh, I can't hear that one. I can only see it or the ref's looking at it because if they are, they might call that. No one says, what's the difference between a baby and a can of Coke? I don't violently shake this can of Coke until it starts spewing. I'm not a monster. What the fuck, Nolan? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> My wife used to get so annoyed with me when Brax was little. Um, of course, how I did, I've been, Brax and I have been attached to the hip since he was born. And I would come home from work every day. And as soon as I cleaned up, first thing I'd do is I'd play with him. And when we'd be sitting there playing, I'd go, all right, buddy, we're going to play a new game. It's called Shaken Baby. And you know, pretend to shake them. My wife, they used to drive my wife nuts. Will you stop that? Pe You're going to say that sometime with people in the house because we always have staff there for my daughter and stuff. And it's like, well, they can play sh Shaking Baby with their own kids when they have them. I'm playing Shaking Baby with mine. <laughs> yeah, FB, that was crown of the helmet, bro. He lowered his head. The only thing I can say is if they... Oh, they didn't call it, though. Okay. I Because I thought they were... Maybe they're saying that the um, Ohio State player made a move that he didn't expect, you know, because it did look like the the Ducks player was trying to go under him. Oh, that's good. I'm glad they didn't call it. Shook that boy like a British Danny Jackson. Yeah, I um, used to irritate the hell out of my wife when we play Shaken Baby. Could be a stinger. Very, very likely could be FB. We're winning right now, Ryan. We're up 14-6 and uh, just got the ball back. And we, Oh, they put Cone back in, you guys. I was all excited. I was watching Buckner play, and they put the put Cone back in. I mean, I like Jack Cone, but shit, dude. You know, he's like, yeah, Cone runs. I can, I can run, too. <laughs> I can't run as fast as you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no. Shake the baby. Don't shake the baby. Shake the baby. Oh, South Park was. There, that was the real early days. Don't kick the baby. With <laughs> that, those were the real early ones. All right, Jack. Now you better engineer a drive here too, and then I want to see more Tyler Buckner. I hope that flags against Toledo because that's a big gain. Peter says, separate question. What song would you use as a wrestling entrance and why? Also, take it you like Notre Dame. Absolutely. Notre Dame Vegeta versus Ohio State, boo. <laughs> Indeed, I do. Um, I used a bunch. I used Welcome to the Jungle. I used People Are Strange. Um, oh, let me check this. Oh, one by HTMs offsetting, so that play gets wiped out. 
Oh, and that was a receiver downfield. What a stupid penalty. Um, but I use, like I say, I use Welcome to the Jungle. And the one I used most was um, Iron Man. Do, 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 do. And that was just an homage to the Road Warriors because I love the Road Warriors. Oh, and Oregon could have just gotten a first down and the receiver dropped it. They just refused to put Ohio State away. Look at that. <sighs> yeah, but the lineman's got to know he can't run downfield, period. Jesus. Now what? Oh. Excuse me, guys. Okay, now, all of you guys who are even even football fans at any level, can you explain this to me, though? You had Jack Cohn playing quarterback, your starter. The offense was struggling significantly o over a few drives. You put the kid in, you put Tyler Buckner in, and boom, 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 down the field and score, and then you take him back out? Does that make sense to anybody? And not just because I want to see the kid play. I'm just talking about for the you know the feel of the game and everything. What? I don't know. I don't. I don't understand that. You you saw the change in energy, and the extra difficulties that Buckner being out there created for the defense, and you you took him out. I, I don't get that. I don't know. Nice throw. Good old Colsey. <laughs> Trevor says, no, but I enjoy your confusion. Yeah, I just... I don't think so, Peter. He says, no, don't want to get sacked. I mean, the kids got to get used to the, the contact of D1 football. I just... I just... To me, it's a momentum thing. I mean, he just made such a difference immediately, and he had that momentum going. I just... I, I think that's odd to take him out. Yeah, Andrew says it makes sense for your five-year-old to do that. Yeah, yeah, I don't get that at all. I mean, if he'd have come in and played okay, I'd say okay, that was good. Let him dip his feet in the water, but he ignited the team. He took him on a ninety-six-yard drive in like a minute, and then you're like, okay, good job. Now go sit down. I don't know. That was one of the all-time worst play calls I've ever seen. The offensive coordinator for Notre Dame is going to fucking piss me off today. You got third and one, monsters on the line of scrimmage, and you call a pass play. Injury, maybe? Diamond, I don't think so, pal. I think that was just Kelly wanting to go back to his original starter. I just don't agree with it. Anything's possible, but I don't think there was an injury. Oh, and they got the first down, and Toledo took a timeout. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with Kelly on that one. I think they, they gave him one there, because the whistles didn't blow until after he'd gotten the first down. Stroud got sacked at the 45? I wasn't even paying attention. Second and 18, yeah. Wow. I, I'm telling you. I lost Pupper. I, I don't think the Stroud kid is, is that good. I don't think he's elite. There it is. Oh, Oregon could have picked that. Almost every time a ball gets tipped into the middle part of the field like that, it gets picked. Oh. Third and 18, though. They've got him where they want him. Big question here is, regardless, if, if they go to fourth down, especially fourth and long, is it four down territory? Almost kind of feels like it. There's two, well, three minutes left. Come on. This play calling is absolute horseshit. Garbage. Roberto says, I know Notre Dame is independent, but if you could choose a conference of your choice to join, which would be ACC, Big Ten, or SEC? It'd be ACC just because of the connection they already have with them. 
Yeah, Roberto. I mean, because they already have that agreement with them where they play, what, five ACC games a year? ACC teams a year? Yeah. I think ACC would make the most sense. I see what happened on the... or I see Oregon celebrating. What happened here? Oh, a pick! I'm telling... I told you guys that Stroud kid was going to be... Was going to be the problem. Uh-oh. Irish can't have this kind of damage on the line. So, your offense is struggling. You bring in a young kid. He ignites the team on an electric touchdown drive. And then you go back to your senior and can't convert on a fourth down and turn the ball over. I don't understand that at all. That made zero sense. All right, you guys got to stop them right here. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. The chat wasn't scrolling. I don't know what happened. Diamond Dog says you should do a reaction of AFL Biggest Hits. Australian Rules Football is a great sport. Oh, I love that stuff. I, I Yeah, Australian Rules, Rules Football. I love it. Love it, Diamond Dog. It's those, guys, those guys are some psychos. Should the college players get paid, Peter? No, but they did do the absolute right thing in letting them license their names and likenesses. I don't think they should get paid because, I mean, ha, ha, ha. First of all, you don't want bidding wars for high school kids. And more so, they're getting those educations for free. you got to remember, the vast majority of these kids aren't playing in the NFL. And they're getting world-class educations for free. But what they did do, the NCAA letting them make money, on, you know, if they want to sign autographs, get um, endorsement deals, I think that was absolutely the right thing. Then the market dictates. There's no bidding war. If, you, if your face and your name are worth something, you can make money. But no, should they get paid as a salary? No. To, I would argue that they do. They get paid with an education. <clears throat> yeah, no shit, Johnny. Play calling is horrible. When did Bob Bratkowski get hired by ND? Yeah, they're, they're play calling, Johnny, like they have last year's offensive line in there. And the announcers made a good point. They don't. These are young guys still learning the positions. And they had monsters last year. And the thing is, too, you had fourth and one, and you didn't have your mobile quarterback in there. How does that make any sense? Uh, Anbu says, make this tradition. This football stream is badass. I'm having a blast with it, Anbu. I really am. This, this has been a good time. I've enjoyed doing this with you guys. It really has been fun. I'll probably just go to halftime because I, I have some stuff to do... Um, for my wife downstairs, I'm going to fit in during the second half. Well, if the game, unless the game stays too close. I th I, to be honest, I thought we'd be up by probably a couple touchdowns by halftime. It's not looking like that's going to be the case. Especially now, because there's a flag on that play. Well, they gave him a first down. The, the refs are doing the best they can to keep Toledo in this with the weird, bizarre um, call overturns and stuff. First down, Ducks. Oh, and 213 and counting. They're going to upset them. Yeah, exactly. So now he says, damn, Johnny with the Bratkowski reference a real football fan right there. Absolutely. This is just, this game is abysmal for the Irish. If they come back out there in the second half and they aren't playing Tyler Buckner, you're going to have a fan revolt. Yeah, the clock, what's, Ohio State's got one timeout left. They, they've got them, guys. They've got them. This is huge. What an upset.
Oh my God, with the flags. I don't know what, well, it might have been legit that time though. But the offense isn't doing the defense any favors with the play calling. Oh, I don't know about that one. Uh, I don't know. That was that was a stretch to call that one interference or holding. I think the officials got a little money on this game. Oh, that should have been picked. Like I said, I'm glad the Irish lost. Fuck Ireland. <laughs> they haven't lost yet, Lex. <laughs> Trevor says, wow, Notre Dame's OC must have went to Pete Carroll University, your favorite school. Yeah, isn't it? Uh, that, that's my boys right there. Freaking, <laughs> the freaking Trojans. Oh, you got to catch that, dude. That's a drive killer. And like they said, Cam was initially a wide receiver. You don't get away from 14. All right, one more stop, and at least you, you're making them kick another three. But this game should not be this close. Now, guys, explain to me, why is Notre Dame not calling a timeout here? It's third down. Call the timeout. Give your offense some time to actually do something with the ball before the half. This shit drives me nuts. What is going on with them? They got two timeouts left. Should absolutely have called the timeout there. So now you got a minute seven. You could have had a minute 30, had plenty of time after the kickoff. Jesus Christ, Irish. Prefer not to talk about world events today? Not if something big happened, Arthur. No, not, I mean, we're just, you know, it's a football stream. I don't know how much focus I'll have on other things. Why, is something big going on? I, on Saturdays, I, lo I lose track of things a lot because I'm watching football all day. That should have been a touchdown. This is ridiculous. He makes this, Notre Dame has a five-point lead on Toledo at the half. Come on, boys. Yeah, with the wrong quarterback in there, Kelly. All right, what do we got here? Fourth and one. So, Ohio State's going to get the ball back. Is you think Oregon's really going to go for it? Where are they on the field? They can't. They got to punt it, right? I mean, you go for it and make it and you seal the game, but it's too the risk reward isn't there. Punt the ball. They need a touchdown to tie. You play deep and they got no timeouts. Now you got to punt it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I would tell if I was Oregon special teams coach, I'd be telling my punter, you kick, you angle kick it, you kick it out of bounds. Even if it only ends up 30, 35 yards, you don't give them a chance to return it. No? Don't you guys think? Yeah, especially where, where he is on the field. I, I tell you, you better either bury that at an angle or just kick it in the end zone. Don't let them return it. And need oh beautiful kick. Perfect kick. It's it. 21 seconds to victory for Oregon, guys. And Ohio State takes the plummet. <laughs> Facebook business suite. What are you talking about Facebook? Wow, this is amazing what's going on there. Oh, okay. Chrome says it's just 9-11's 20th anniversary. It's a lot of political posturing and grandstanding. Gotcha. Uh, Arthur says, okay, this is what I said, but Australia, but also UK supporting Apple spying vaccine mandates in the US, France mandating 
uh, Proton Mail to log IP info, et cetera, et cetera. Really? See, I haven't been keeping up on anything. Saturdays are a bad day for me. I don't keep up on stuff. And then, wow, that was a hell of a, got to give him credit. That was a hell of a throw, Ohio State. Stroud didn't make a good throw there because he should have been sacked. Not that it's going to matter, but. I, I don't understand why that freshman is not, why he's not playing, why Tyler Buckner isn't playing. It's starting to really piss me off. I'll talk about it another day. Okay, Arthur, no problem, pal. Anytime. Anytime. This is why Buckner should have been in there. Notre Dame's going to go into this game down at the half. Are you fucking kidding me right now? All right, Cone needs to come out. This is fucking insanity. You have got to be shitting me. He threw it right to him. What the fuck? Yeah, that Cone has really played poorly ever since that first drive. Who that threw it completely missed with the ball location and with two men on him. Yep. Yeah, you're right. I think that was a sack. I thought he was down. That's insanity right there. You're going to be playing from behind against Toledo at the half. Yeah. See you, Buckner. Or, uh, Buckner. See you, Cone. Yeah, Cone threw it way too late. That ball's supposed to be in the air right as Mayer starts to turn around. Yeah, big opportunity. Jesus Christ. <laughs> big Green just wants to be a part of it. What are you doing out there? Get your shit together, team. <laughs> yeah, I think the knee was definitely down. I, I think so too, Pupper. That was horrific. So we're going to put Buckner in now and at least let him run around? Nope. I just want to be included. <laughs> Chrome says Toledo? Sounds like a commander boy name. Sure this isn't gay porn? At this point, I'm not sure anymore, Chrome. <laughs> You'd yeah, be in that position if your quarterback was playing well. He is not. What the fuck is going on? Why is Buckner not in there? You have the kid that's a freak athlete that could have run right away from that pressure. This is bad. Yeah, no shit. But even though that's a, a penalty, there it is. Ohio State loses. That was actually a smart play by that kid. Because if, if he doesn't commit the penalty, that's going to be a completed pass for a lot more than 15 yards. So that was actually a smart play. This is a great listen to while stocking beer, Ambu says. <laughs> Ohio State is lost, guys. That's just huge. Why is Buckner not in? You've got the... Uh, and nothing against Jack Cohn, but he runs about as fast as I do. 
why do you not have the kid out there that's electric and could be picking up huge chunks of yards as they're playing deep? I don't understand this at all. Yeah, you should be holding your head, Tommy. That's their offensive coordinator on the screen right there, Tommy Reese. It looks says, can you please stop calling him the kid while using all these foreign terms? It makes it sound sketch. <laughs> uh, this is just stabbing me. <laughs> stabbing me. Lex, this is terrible, the way they're playing. Can't, don't have time. This was a horrible half on offense, except when Tyler Buckner was in there, and then we take him out. It's uh, amazing, Anbu, that uh, Jack Cohn, their quarterback, just threw a horrible pick six. Terrible throw. All right, so now... The only chance you got, you got to throw, well, in, the only thing is if you get a first down in college, the clock stops while they move the chain. So they might have enough time to throw a pass if it's a first down, get up there, spike it, and kick a field goal. Come on, you got to throw it, Cone. Uh, so they can chuck one into the end zone. And again, Buckner has a stronger arm. I don't know that Cone can reach the end zone from there. <laughs> 14 guys on the field. Yeah, that probably won't work. Aggies, Colorado. Trevor says his Notre Dame's OC being paid under the table. Yeah, he hasn't been he hasn't been sharp today. Now the thing that's pissing me off though is situationally how Kelly saw that oh, I, I've said it, that big spark that Tyler Buckner gave them and then took him right back out of the game. You you give what a de you take what a defense is giving. Obviously they had trouble with a running quarterback. It's not a, an insult to Jack Cohn. It's that Tyler Buckner's skill set is different. Well, he says, Susan apparently doesn't know all caps, even if the message doesn't contain, in, contain any bad words. Yeah, who, who knows what the hell she's censoring now, pal. Yeah, he can't reach the end zone from there anyway. That was ugly. Jesus Christ. Everyone start chanting freshman Buckner. Yeah. On with that. And that's all entirely on Kelly. Again, why did you put the kid you put the kid in, I assume, because you think he could ignite a spark. He did. And then you take him back out. Jesus. Yes, I do watch UFC Fender. Any any fighting sports I'll watch. I, I love fighting sports. Oh, Morgan, I'm sorry to hear that. Says hi, Uncle Curtis, my Allergies are killing me, but I'm here. Ah, oh, sorry to hear that. That sucks. Unfortunately, I don't have any allergies, but I see my wife and Spaz kid deal with them all the time. That's terrible. It's just such a miserable feeling. So, the Irish, favored by 17, are down by two at the half. Coaching is questionable. The quarterback play has been questionable, to say the very least. Oh, yeah, the college football rankings are getting a huge shaking up now. Huge. Oh, oh unfortunately, guys, I got to go. It is after four, like I say, during halftime. And I was planning on the second half. I have some stuff around the house I have to help my wife with. Now, <laughs> I don't know how much help she's going to be getting since this ended up being a close game. Thank you guys so much for watching this with me. This was a blast. And if nothing else, we got to be together for what will this season be a legendary game of the season because the Ohio State Oregon game we were just following just changed the entire landscape of college football and we were watching it together so that was cool but 
I'm glad you got to say hi too, Morgan. But guys, thank you for this. I, I, I truly appreciate you guys hanging out with me and doing this, but I do. I have to get downstairs and um and help my wife out while we have while we have halftime here because it looks like I'm gonna be busy during the second half because <laughs> this has been ugly. <laughs> guys, thanks for hanging out with me doing this. I'll talk to you soon. Um I don't know if I'll get to stream tomorrow or not. I got some stuff going on tomorrow, but if not, I certainly will be back streaming Monday. I'll t see you guys really soon. Thanks again for watching this with me. Goose, 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 goodbye. Indeed, Gimster. <laughs>